Breaking right now, that train derailment that crews have been trying to clean up all day in Montgomery County. Stella Porter joins us live now. And Stella, the impacts of this could last into the weekend. Is that right? It is, Mark. You can still see emergency vehicles on scene blocking Route 5 eastbound from Wolf Hollow Road to the Amsterdam City Line, and they expect that closure to last until Saturday night or Sunday morning. Thankfully, though, no one was injured when this derailment happened just before 8 o'clock this morning. Some neighbors telling us they woke up to the sound of screeching and crashing. We know this was a CSX cargo train heading from Selkirk to Buffalo. 157 cars were traveling total. And Montgomery County officials say 13 empty tank cars came off the tracks. According to the undersheriff, some cars had been carrying propane. Some had been carrying xylene, which is a solvent. Only residue was left. A number of agencies responded, including state police. The county hazmat team was also at the scene, making sure those substances were not a threat to people nearby. Right now, there is no hazard to the public. Everything has been secure. CSX and their crews are on site. They are getting ready to move some of the um, debris around the um, flipped over um, tankers and other on the other five boxcars. Um, it's going to be a slow process, but they will, will get it done. And the cause of that derailment is still under investigation. Officials tell us the tracks back here are in bad shape, and CSX is now starting the long process of getting them off of those tracks. We're live in Montgomery County, Stella Porter, News Channel 13. Back to you, Mark. Stella, thank you. The derailment got the attention of leaders in Washington. Senator Chuck Schumer says he's closely monitoring the Montgomery County train derailment. He says we're grateful that there were no injuries and we're thankful for the first responders on the scene. And Governor Kathy Hochul says she's directed all necessary assistance to help local emergency response officials with a priority of the safety of both drivers and railroad workers. Amtrak passengers are expressing their frustration and concern as they try to navigate through the problems caused by the derailment. Tiffany Payton is live at the Rensselaer Amtrak station for us tonight. Tiffany, good evening. Good evening, Mark. As you said, there are many upset Amtrak passengers trying to cope with figuring out where should they go next due to this derailment. Now, I want us to queue up some of that video we have just so you can see what the inside of the station looked like. You can see passengers sitting around waiting for updates. Some say they are stranded trying to find an alternative way to reach their destinations. Many have expressed their concerns about the lack of information from Amtrak. Some say they they feel left in the dark about when normal services will continue. One person we spoke with described the scene as total mayhem with overcrowded bus stops and confusion about rerouting options. Another upset passenger became annoyed when he thought about Amtrak providing buses and then that fell through. That's when he decided just to head back home to New York City. I wish there was a little more communication on the loudspeaker that, you know, they just announced five minutes ago that there's no buses. And I wish that had happened sooner. I could have gotten an earlier return trip. They said they were going to try to get buses, but now I'm here about three hours in Albany right now, and apparently it's not going to happen. So I'm heading home. A lot of back and forth between Amtrak and passengers there. We'll continue to follow this story closely and check in with passengers. And as we get updates, we'll provide them on air and online at WNYT.com. Mark, I'll send it back to you. Tiffany Payton live in Rensselaer for us tonight. And of course, as Tiffany mentioned, you can count on News Channel 13 to provide you updates on the derailment, the cleanup, and the possible causes. Stay with us both on air and online.